Welcome everyone to the monthly all-nighter at The Beat. This is the longest running all-nighter in the country. We are all happy to be here and we're going to go till what time? Five. Five. Six in the morning. <laughs> yeah, let's try to go past four. How's that? Uh, if it, we've been ending a little early lately. It's unfortunate. Okay, so what is the material for tonight? Ocho. Ochos. Great. Can you, you want to help demonstrate? Oh, sure. So we're going to do ochos together. And what are this thing? What's the first thing we were working on? The position. The trailing foot. Trailing yeah, the trailing foot. foot. What position do we want? On the floor. Yeah, on the floor, slightly behind, inside edge. What part of your heel are you going to wear out? The heel. Tap. That inside edge, that little piece of plastic, inside edge. Maybe the back edge as well. And if we have, good, beautiful. And we can also do it backwards. So we can also do back ochos, which are harder. The outside foot. Yes. There you go. Good. And even here, we try to collect slightly behind. Yeah, a little more behind. There you go. And heel down. Good. Yes. So we try to nail that position. Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. Okay. And now keeping the chest up. Uh, yes. So many things to think about. Nice. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and do we have to collect like this and then pivot, or can we just pivot while we're collecting, or collect while we're pivoting? Sorry. Which one? You can pivot. So collect. Let you pivot. But you, you can do whatever you want, really. But what we recommend is, is just to, to collect while you're pivoting. It's a little more natural. As long as when you're done, you're in that position. OK. What did we do next? Back ochos. Back ochos, yeah. We, we did those. We just showed them. Parada, parada front ochos. Yeah, and remember this? Oh, sugar. Yeah, and so yeah. do you want to meet me? Okay. So we did two kinds of boat shows. Which kind were they? Whiffs and around. A whiff? Yeah, beautiful. So here she changes weight and goes with me again. And now she's in a slot. How, 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 how much do you turn the shoulders, leaders? 45 degrees. Yeah, yeah. 45. Beautiful. And on this side, too? 45. Good. Followers, how much do I turn my hips relative to my chest? Two to three times more. Yeah, two to three times more. Good, and then let's try the around. Good. And when I finish pivoting, where should I be touching? Hip to hip. Yeah, in the around of the show. Cool. And now you can add the parada if you want. Good, and if she's touching me, I don't have to look down. I can feel it and I won't trip. And then I can step around. Good, and remember, thank you. Remember also to keep the, the nose back, touch the, touch the hips. What other rules did we give you? So many rules. Do you remember the rule of the embrace? I really briefly mentioned it. So the rule of the embrace is, if you hold them here, the follower can pivot as much as she wants, as long as her hips stay close, which is the rule of the hip, but you can pivot even more as long as you don't let go of me. So how much can you pivot? Yeah, her hips can face totally away from me, but as long as they, they touch, yeah. Because she hasn't gone anywhere, and she can open up the thigh and still step around me. So try to reach around so your thigh touches me when you pivot, and you can, yeah, beautiful, and you can pivot as much as you want. If we do add the embrace, we can stay close enough here, so we have this nice line on the close side of the embrace, touching but still with our axis. On the open side, though, there might be a little bit of separation. Good, and then when we're ready, we can come back into the line of dance. This can be done with a rock step across behind. Collect, and off we go. So it's a beautiful movement for tonight. Thank you guys very much.